Oh, we back. We back, and we feel in the fact. Welcome to the Money Talk Show TV. I am your host with the most. I'm the motivator. I'm the educator. I'm the options trader, self taught investor, the money coach. And we're talking about that Bitcoin today. Bitcoin going ham. It was looking a little shaky, a little low to the flow earlier today. Bitcoin. Nasty beast. Oh, she's so nasty. Now, she came out the gate today. Came out the gate. Had a nice, big, old, long, long, strong stroke it. Momentum. She came up here. And you see, I got my levels up in there. But Bitcoin came up. Touched that 52. She came down. Oh, I like it. Went up top. Didn't like it too much. Because she just went right there. Ready to touch that 53 and came on down to see me. And for those who pick up and add up on the dip, are you buying the dip or are you just letting it rip? I don't know. That's a whole nother subject, but Bitcoin right now. And one reason why this Bitcoin started struggling today. Bitcoin was struggling today on the 15th. Of February, one day after Valentine's Day. But you see right now, she's looking real strong. She, she didn't bounce back. We call it bounce back like juvie. I'm bounce back. I'm about to bounce back. Bounce, bounce, bounce back. Okay, she did bounce back like juvie. And she's up there. And right now, as we speak, she's only, only a little 0 0.65 in the green. But that's all we need in between. It's the green. Look at that Bitcoin. Now, Gary Gensler, SEC. Chairman, chairboy, whatever you want to call him, he a hater. He put out some hating news on Bitcoin, and Bitcoin was obviously pumping. That's the manipulation. That's the shake in the game. You got to watch the shake and the manipulation. They will try to get you and split you, but you can't, can't go for the shake. Now, see what the shake is. It goes up a little bit. Crypto money laundering plummets by 29% in the latest findings hmm the money laundering is gone 20 down 29 percent when the sec chairman said that it was nothing but illicit activities going on okay hater you hater all right but according to a recent published by crypto analyst firm money laundering involved crypto assets has experienced a notable decline compared to the previous year however the report highlights that illicit actors have started adapting their tactics to evade detection and further obscure the momentum of illicit funds. Now, evolving tactics in the crypto money laundering. According to the report, illicit address sent to approximately 22.2 billion worth of cryptocurrency to various services in 2023, a significant decrease from 3.1 billion. Okay, that was definitely a big decrease. And one of the reasons why the decrease is they got the new crypto, you know, uh, new internet and crypto, you know, FBI feds. They got that whole you know thing going on. They got they got them one of them, some of them. Okay, but that's the news for the Bitcoin. Now the centralized exchange remain primary destination for the funds from a list of address, with the trend remaining relatively stable over the last past five years. Now, however, this report indicates that a shift in, dis in the distribution of illicit funds with a growing share being directed towards decentralized finance, DeFi. Okay, it is some shake. It's always going to be some shake. It's always going to be some bad apples. Some of that ain't going to be right and ain't going to do right. But what you going to do? Is that going to stop your funds? Is Gary Gensler going to stop crypto? No, he can't stop it. Okay. He didn't already open up the floods gate of the Bitcoin era, the cryptocurrency era, and it's over with. Okay, it ain't over. It's just getting started. We just move the momentum. Bitcoin's going ham. I ain't starting nothing. I know Korean hackers. It's, it's overseas. We ain't, we, we, we ain't starting that. But this is they, they trying to throw a lot of shape and a lot of manipulation, a lot of a lot of crazy stories. Oh, I mean, you, know, you might get some good ones. Bitcoin. Price holds strong at 52K. Indicator show a sign of more upside. We talk about the real deal right here. Bitcoin price is holding at 52K from resistance. Now it's consolidating gains and might aim 
for more upside to the 55k i believe bitcoin will go to 55k maybe 57 i have to do it from there it might drop down but when it gets up there i plan on getting my money and getting it out and if it gonna drop down i plan on trying to make money dropping down you can make money up and down so many ways sideways yeah oh bitcoin price is showing the positive signs below the 52.8 resistance and the price is trading above 51.5 and the 100 hour moving average there's a connecting bullish trend from the time forming with support of 51.5 now the pair could continue to move up and it clears the 52.8 resistance zone we out of that baby we going to the 55 if we clear that 52.8 we hit that 53 55 bitcoin gonna see me okay i got some bets on bitcoin with mara okay hut eight okay all right i'm looking at tesla oh watch whoa tesla did some things i thought eli must be gonna, gonna make another video up on that but if you want to stay tuned you want to get on that money you gotta watch the money because i'm watching the money every day that's why it's called money talk hit that like button and subscribe not a financial advice it's just the one showing you how to do it and what i'm doing in the market be blessed to invest in yourself stay safe and invest safe. Yeah.